Well, this feels a little bit weird, doesn't it? It has been a long time since I've been back in my own van, Mary, which I self-converted about a year or so ago now. And tonight we're just gonna go out for a good old stealth camp, a van camp, whatever you wanna call it, just me, just you guys, a very chilled out video, just a bit of a life catch up and getting back to basics. I've forgotten how to film these videos, I need a GoPro. I'm absolutely dripping. I've only just put this t-shirt on. Life has absolutely been going by so fast the last couple of months. There's been a lot going on in my life. I've moved house into a different part of the UK down south. I've obviously been trying to take the channel in a slightly different direction, which to be honest with you, I've been absolutely loving and enjoying so much creating different videos each week about different vehicles. But tonight, as I said, it's all about getting back out in my van. Where's my tea towel? I'm dripping. Oh, this isn't my tea towel, but my God. to an Asda just up here, grab up tonight's ingredients for the dinner and then head a couple of minutes down the road to tonight's park up. Got mayonnaise going back. Oh god, they've cleared all my food away, so I've got to pick everything back up again. Oh, Deary me. Oh, what a faff that was. Ended up picking up all of the ingredients. Then I forgot mayonnaise as I was going through the checkout. So I had to quickly run back and get everything, but then they cleared all of my food away. So I basically had to do that shop twice. Anyway. If you're thinking, Will, is mayonnaise really that important to you? The answer is yes, especially in a chicken, pepperoni or chorizo with cheese mozzarella wrap. You need mayo. Tonight's park up is only a couple of minutes away, I do believe. So we're going to head there. Hopefully it's not too busy. And uh, it should be a nice little spot. Oh my God. The place I had in mind tonight is very busy. One car, two car, three car, four car, there's about 15 cars here. Damn, I wanted that spot in the corner there. But somebody's parked right there for now. I think we're gonna have to go in this opposite corner right here for now. Welcome to Home for the Night, a very bog standard car park kind of in the middle of the trees amongst a little bit of nature we've got a football cage ahead of us we've got a general park to the left and uh not a lot going on i did say there was going to be nothing fancy about tonight's park up but i don't want a spectacular view i just want somewhere to get out and have a bit of peace and quiet inside my van so there's certainly some of you on this channel that have absolutely no idea about my van about my van, why did I say it like that? Oh, brilliant. My central locking doesn't work at all, which means every time I wanna go into the back, I've gotta go through the front. Yeah. So this van is a 2015 medium wheelbase Fiat Ducato, which originally was a builder's van. I spent so much time, blood, sweat, and tears went into building this van. Quick little tour, this chair here swivels round, acts as another little social seat. We've got the kitchen here, two hob gas burner, oven, some cupboard space up there, some more cupboard space in there. We've got a lovely little Ikea sink and tap. We've got a few ingredients and stuff which haven't been used for a while, to be fair. We've got rice, a few tea bags, my little toothbrush holder. And uh, we've got a fridge in here, which I don't think has anything in at the moment. Just water, to be fair. We've got one bench here, a double bench here, and then the masterpiece, the bedroom, where absolutely no magic happens. Not recently anyway. The bed I love because it's just an Ikea double mattress. We've got a few little personal touches like some Winnie the Pooh picture frames and we've got more storage space up here. So in the recent videos that I've been filming for series one about going out and experiencing all different types of camper vans, 
Mary actually comes along with me and I bring the van absolutely everywhere because that's how me and Ben, my cameraman, travel from one part of the country to another to go and create these videos on these different vehicles. And Ben actually sleeps in here whilst I sleep in the owner's vehicles that we're making a video on. I have got one really cool upgrade, which I cannot wait to show you guys. So real quick, I wanted to let you guys know about today's video sponsor, which I'm absolutely buzzing about because for a long time, I've been using this tiny little 10 inch TV that I've had in the van for over a year now, but the new product that I've got is gonna completely change my football nights in here. This tiny little box here is the Nebula Mars 3, which is the world's first outdoor extreme projector. It's been built for the outdoor lifestyle in mind. It's waterproof, it's dustproof, it's even drop proof. The battery is also 185 watts, which means you can actually plug in some USB devices like your phone or whatever it is and actually use this as a mini power station whilst you're actually using it as a projector. This projector literally has so many endless possibilities. You could use this at home. You could have a little outdoor cinema. You could even shine this on the outside of your van and have a moving night at a campsite. Or probably what I'm gonna do is install a pull down projector screen in the front of my van, set this up on my table and use it for those football nights in here. It's got something inside it called AI image adjustment, which is a bit of a mouthful to say. But what that means is as it gets darker into the evening, it would brighten itself up. It would change the colors. It would change the contrast. So I think it's gonna be a great piece of kit if you go out in your van a lot on the weekends to campsite or you go out with friends if you're a bit of an entertainer or a socializer something like this just brings people together make sure to check out the link in the description and if you guys buy a one pound coupon it will actually give you 180 pounds off from june the 9th to july the 13th this is a special early bird discount which is the biggest anchor discount of the year so far big thank you to anchor and the mars 3 projector for sponsoring today's video let's get back on with it this is the park up that i'm in i'm parked right there Ideally, that's where I wanted to be parked tomorrow morning, just because uh, it's a little bit more out of the way and underneath some trees. There's a few people here at the minute that are just going off, walking the dogs and enjoying this beautiful British sunset. I'm gonna move into that corner down there because that person's left and uh, I just don't wanna wake up sweating my absolute tits off because as soon as the sun Hits the van in here tomorrow morning. It's gonna roast itself up in here. Oh God, I'm too far back. Third time I'm moving in the same car park. Oh God, I just ran the tap. Oh yeah, yeah. Tonight's recipe doesn't involve any gas, but my George Foreman electric sandwich toaster, or whatever the heck you want to call it. The weather's been that good recently. I've got a shed load of solar. I'll have a shed load of solar tomorrow morning. So why not make the most of a free dinner powered by the sun? Anyone else despise chicken skin? I know I do. Here we go, we got the wrap. Very simple, bit of chicken in there, pre-cooked. We'll get a bit of chorizo on there as well, just for good luck. Bit of mozzarella. It is nice being back in here and having the luxury of a proper sink, boiling hot water if I want to, electricity that works, an oven, a pull-out table, and just everything that I know and love. You know, I designed this van, I built it the way that I wanted it to be, and, uh, it's just nice being back in it. Chieso on top, and there we have it. Toast that up, top it with a bit of mayonnaise, that is gonna be lovely. I think I've finally learned how to wrap a wrap. No doubt I'll probably still do it wrong, but in on the sides, roll it like that. Uh, something like that. We got cars still coming in and out continuously the last hour or so, but uh, honestly, I don't even care tonight if somebody was to look at me and say, what the hell is that bloke doing in the van? Because I'm just cooking up some wraps and chilling inside. Hello, George Foreman. Get in my belly. Hot potato. Whilst we wait for that to uh, to cook up, toast up, and let the cheese melt inside, thought I'd answer a couple of other questions which I've had recently, which is, Will, are you going to be doing any road trips in Mary, around Europe, or whatever? And the honest truth is, I've got absolutely no plans at all. I am really enjoying this new purpose that I feel like I've found, and this new direction of creating 
this brand new series of going out and experiencing different vehicles. It's really given me some sort of direction. For a long time, I felt like I've been making YouTube videos without any purpose or structure or real reason behind them. But the new ones that I'm doing, it feels like there is that purpose, sharing unique and special vehicles, sharing the stories, the history, and the actual owners who own these vehicles. So series two is currently underway. I'm doing the logistics and the admin behind the scenes to get everything organized. And then hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to crack on and start releasing the videos. And uh, I can't bloody wait. Oh boy. Ow. That is done, I think. Bon appetito. Look at that mayo and cheese oozing out. Lovely. Oh, wow. Mm. Sublime. There's still quite a few dog walkers knocking around. People in the cars just chilling. The sun has now officially gone down, but what a lovely evening it was. I've got the old Max Air fan going, which to be honest with you, it does a good job. But uh, one thing that this van, and I'm sure most vans to be fair, are lacking is AC, because whenever you go out camping in your van, especially in summer, sometimes it's absolutely unbearable. And to be honest, that's a big reason why I actually prefer going out in my van in winter, because if it's snowing outside, if it's raining, cold, windy, miserable and wet, and then you're inside your van, which is nice and cozy warm with the diesel heater on, maybe some food on the go, there is nothing better. So I much prefer, personally, winter van life than summer van life. Mosquito! Bastard! I have absolutely no idea where time goes. It's now 10.30 at night, pitch black outside. Itchy nose. <laughs> <laughs> All of the people that were here in the car park have now vanished and disappeared. Thankfully, no loud music or anything. So I'm going to hit the sack and head off to bed and I will catch you guys in the morning. Funny old little park up that it gets so busy this morning with dog walkers because i woke up just the dogs barking and going nuts but uh not a bad little spot the reason i actually know this park up where i am just there is because i actually used to play football in that cage behind this tennis court with some mates back in the day there's been a lot going on the last few months in terms of the new direction that I've wanted to take the channel and uh, it's been challenging but it's been so much fun and you know hopefully the rewards and things like that will all come in the future because one thing that I've taught myself and one thing that I believe in is if you believe in yourself if you believe in an idea you've got to stick with it you've got to continue to be persistent and pursue that 100% and that's exactly what I'm going to do oh, when you're out of the sun it really is dark in here Anyway, I've got a therapy call at 9.30, so uh, I'm going to jump onto that, have a chat with my therapist, and then we're going to head on out of here. Morning, Will. Morning, Just morning. Kidding. How are you? Are you with your Mary? For whatever reason, the last week or so, I don't know, just been going through the motions of, of self-doubt and insecurities and life and just lacking a bit of confidence i don't know why what's caused it well that's my therapy session done the last few weeks i've been a bit of a mental struggle but you know what life is full of ups and downs it's all part of the journey part of the story i know that sounds a little bit cringe and cliche but it's so true if life could be a flat line of consistent days and moods you know it'd be pretty boring but the fact it's up down like a yo-yo that's just how it is, for me anyway. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your continued support. Series two of experiencing all different types of weird, amazing, and just incredible campers is gonna be starting very, very soon. There's a couple of videos in between that. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all of your continued support, and I'll catch you in next week's video. It's gonna be another scorching day today, that's for sure.
Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh.